Good morning, world. Welcome to Tuesday. I am making some breakfast right now. Just a little bit of oatmeal. Because if you saw yesterday's vlog, we do not have a lot of food in this house. So, um, but we have oatmeal. There's a couple of eggs in there that we can make, etc. And we're just getting ready for the bake egg. We have made it to the bus station and it's kind of nice out, wouldn't you say? Yeah. It's like cold, it's like 27, but obviously super, super sunny, but we're ready. security and for some reason I had TSA pre-check and we have no idea why so Alex was saying he booked the tickets and nothing was different he, he put in your pre-check put in his pre-check and for some reason he gave it to me which we were just saying is super weird because they need to do a background check they need to fingerprint you none of that happened so we don't really know how that happened, but it did. And it was nice. Got us some Starbucks drinks. I got a smoked butterscotch latte, which is interesting. Just tastes like Starbucks coffee. And I got Alex a London Fog latte. And we're just watching planes take off and land. We've got, how much time can we? Four, four, four to five minutes until we board. Ready to fly? Of course. Ready to fly, as ready as I'm gonna be. Always get anxious. This is like my anxious point. What's going on here? come off the jeans have come off this was all my base layer and uh, we're going to get our car now which I think Alex said is a convertible it's supposed to be a convertible <laughs> that's not quite how that's supposed to look <laughs> We just landed um, at our hotel and parked the car and then grabbed dinner right next to our hotel. It was good dark and I was saying everything is so busy around here. I'm used to like everyone being in hibernation in winter mode. But now we're walking along a boardwalk after dinner because it's lovely out. It's just, it's beautiful. I'm not really sure what this is. Well, okay, I know what it is but why it's here. You guys can see, it's like a mastodon fossil. Very small, yeah, like gold brushed. Just outside, chilling, because why not? I've decided that's not a mastodon. It just felt way cooler saying that. It's definitely an elephant. 
Okay, we are back in our hotel room. I will give you guys a tour tomorrow or later. Don't blink, you'll miss it. Um, yeah, we're just going to try and settle down, call it a night, and head to bed. We've shut off the air conditioning unit and gone for the windows. We could torture ourselves, it could be okay. We'll find out. We're gonna go to sleep and let you know tomorrow. Hello world, I am, um, yes, in a bathroom. And that's because I'm at a conference with Alex and I don't really wanna film when I'm in there, so I'm just gonna do it now. And uh, yeah, so it's for paintball, so technically I'm working. Uh, but it's like, I don't know, it's like a conference thing. So I'm gonna head in, show you what I can for today, but it's not gonna be a whole lot. Still sitting here going through speakers and different brain points. We're on a break right now. We got a sweet little swag bag. Just gonna look what's inside. We're gonna start back up again soon, have lunch, and then I don't really know what uh, the rest of the day is gonna look like, but we'll see. Also, got a bagel for breakfast. I tried to show you guys earlier, but this is like the cutest tiny little jar, jam jar I have ever seen. It's adorable. We are on a two hour break now. So I've come outside right near the busy street, so it's kind of loud. But um, I needed some sunshine, I needed some warmth. It's all air conditioned <clears throat> inside, obviously. And uh, I was a little chilly, I was a little on the freezing side. Um, uh, but me and this little gecko guy I just found, I'll show you him. This little dude right here. Look at him. Aww. I'm just gonna hang out here for a bit. I don't even know what, just watch traffic or something, but yeah. Nice out, it's beautiful out. I'm gonna enjoy it while I can. If you guys saw a uh, lunch, they didn't have like any vegetarian options for lunch, so I made a coleslaw sandwich. It's what it was, which uh, Alex said was a little weird, but I don't know, I find it pretty typical that at big events like that they don't tend to cater to any sort of like dietary need or preference because the majority wants the same thing. Which is totally fine, I'm not gonna starve, the food was great, so it wasn't bad at all. Um, more paintball after this though, so hang in there. If you're wondering if we're still here, the answer is yep. It's now 4.45 or something like that. And we've been probably, it's five o'clock. Oh, thank God, it's five o'clock. We've probably been on break for like an hour and a half. And I don't think the next thing is happening until seven. So there's still two more hours. And Alex is like schmoozing and talking and um, whatnot with the people here because this is, this is his business, this is what he's in. I'm like about to lose my mind. I put a piece of gum in my mouth so that I had something to do. And also because I feel like I'm about to eat my arm. So I'm hanging in there, coming outside for breaks, uh, trying to care about what they're talking about. Um, but enjoying this view. You can see the ocean is like right behind me, which is lovely. And it's still nice out. Windy now, cooler, but I mean, I left and it was like 17 degrees. So fantastic, comparably. Yeah, I don't really know what we're gonna do, but I guess it's like a poolside evening thing that's gonna be happening. Might be kind of cool. I don't know. And I just locked myself out of that door up there, apparently. So now I get to go around. Now I get to go for a walk. It's little things. I'm pretty, you know, just, yeah. I don't really know. I don't really know what I'm trying to say. At least I get to move. I'm not sitting on an airplane or stuck sitting somewhere that I can't get out and move around. Thank you for that. Okay, conference is on a pause and we've come out to eat and the lighting here is super weird. Blue, like so blue. It's like really weird to read the menu and everything. But after this, there's a second part. It's like cocktail hour and schmingle mingle time. So I'm eating something now because I'm assuming I can't eat a lot of the food there and then it would be way too late. So, yeah. Oh my God, longest day ever. We just got back to the area of our hotel and it's tomorrow. Like, it's, we technically missed a whole day. And now we have to see if we can even 
get a parking pass because he said it was like first come first serve. So we're gonna go walk in the hotel, see what we can do about it because we were too early this morning that his general manager wasn't there and that's, it was just a whole debacle. And tired, exhausted and see what we can do. Okay, just kidding. Apparently, Alex just Googled it and from 3 a.m. to 9 a.m., it's free. And since we're gonna be leaving well before nine in the morning, we're just gonna get a three hour ticket and be totally fine. Since the room service just came through, I will give you guys a quick, tired as heck room tour. You walk in the door, there's this weird, large closet, and then you literally just walk into the room. There's a big mirror over here, and the bed, and the fridge. And then, as you walk around the corner here, there's the teeniest little bathroom, which, let me get the light. Where's the light? This is it. The whole bathroom, like, I can touch the curtain. But it's the cutest thing ever, and I am exhausted. So we're gonna get ready for bed. Thank you guys for watching whatever I captured today. And maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, world! It's loud. But there's a rainbow! Right there! So cool! Welcome to day two of paintball shenanigans. Uh, I'm currently going sans makeup. I have it right here. I'm gonna do it in the car. We got like, I think we actually got six hours of sleep last night. Like six hours of sleep, which is impressive. And uh, we're running ready to go for day two. But I needed a shower, and so my sacrifice was like, ah, I'll just do my makeup in the car. So this could be an adventure. But uh, hey, that's what life's about, right? Adventures. And maybe we're gonna find some breakfast this morning, because yesterday we got over-caffeinated by like a lot. Not so awesome. Ugh. But it's still beautiful. I thought it was gonna be overcast because of all that cloudiness behind me, but we got blue skies in front. We are leaving Miami right now. I didn't film yesterday because it was just more paintball. There wasn't anything to film, so I didn't. And we just picked up breakfast. Got us some breakfast. And we're headed to the airport with hopefully enough time to like do the whole return the rental car, find where we need to be. Like it'll be enough time, but as long as we don't hit any like dead stop traffic, right? Yeah. Apparently we're about to go into Swank City and go into a lounge. Centurion. Centurion lounge, which is for like card holders of a certain car, like a Mad Express. And we think I might be able to go with Alex. So we're gonna give it a shot. What? I don't know, this structure and mirrors? It's kinda cool. Little industrial, but kinda cool. And then the place that I was filming, which you can't tell, is through that glass. Like, that's the airport. And that wall that I was filming, that's where we are. Mm. Welcome aboard. Before we depart, here are some important safety and We have landed, and right now, Alex is trying to find the rental car. So I took the luggage, because uh, why have both of us walking around like lugging stuff? And the numbers behind me, you can see they go three, that one says five, six, four, we're number 23, and the numbers stop at 10. So we're, uh, Trying to find our rental car. It doesn't have a clicker. It's just a straight, classic throwback metal key. 
no idea. Alex is now thinking that we might have to go up onto that road behind me to a second lot. No one ever said that. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, we going up to the second lot. We going the long way on the ramp? No, we're young. We're taking the dang stairs. We found it. Definitely was up those stairs. And now we have to remember left, left, left. There's a, oh my God, what? There's even a sticker. Drive on the left. It's a normal American style car, but you drive European or all the other places that are similar, you drive on the left-hand side of the road. Yep, just, it's a little, it's a little strange, but we gotta get used to it, because otherwise we die. This is so weird. Oh, that person's definitely a rental driver. They were like way over. So weird. It feels normal to me. I don't know why, but like in relation to other cars, like I know where you are, you know what I mean? I think it's weird. It's definitely weird that it's an American car and you're driving on the left hand side. Like I don't know, I guess because it's a US Virgin Island, but there, you know, obviously there's like other influences, so it's it's all mixed. I like it. It's changed. the second floor so you walk in these slider doors here and then to your left you've got a little dining area and then there's a small kitchen and you've got the living room and the bedroom area and then just walk back here and there's the little bathroom pretty there we go. Whoa, pretty nice, pretty nice. Full shower, mirror. Not mad. Not mad. We're going to find a beach in the dark. Cause we can.